In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating Awboard, which is a web-based whiteboard. It's also collaborative. There are two versions. There is a free version and a premium version, which is what I'm demonstrating in this video. But you can use that for free during a trial period if you sign up. Some of the advantages of this over traditional smart board software when it's web-based, you can also add collaborators to your board. Uh, and you do have the ability to import PDFs, PowerPoints, images that you can annotate and then export and save as a PDF if you wanted to upload that to uh, PowerSchool Learning. So to get started, I'm just going to run through the tools over here on the left hand side. So starting with the first one, you have the select tool. We also have undo and also that will become a redo button once you begin annotating and adding things to your board. You can change the color of the pen and select custom colors. We also have a pencil tool, a highlighter and a line tool. We have an eraser, a scissor to select a specific area of an object on the screen and a trash can. You can insert objects, text, and then uh, also post-it notes. Now the post-it notes would be uh, valuable if you were collaborating with somebody else on this board. And then you can also upload, as I mentioned earlier, um, images, PDFs, and PowerPoints. Now down here at the bottom where you see the one slash one, that's where you can add additional pages. It will allow you to add those additional pages once you've already begun annotation. So to get started, let me go ahead and upload a PDF file just so you can see what that looks like. And we're gonna choose a file. All right, so I've selected a file. This is the employee acknowledgement. I'm just uploading this as an example, but you do have the ability to change the size of this uh, PDF that you've inserted. And now that I have this on the page, I can select my pen tool. Let's go ahead and pick a different color. So I'll do red and I can begin to mark this up. Once I'm done on this page, if I wanted to, I could add an additional page that I could add a PDF uh, to this one as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you go to erase, at least for now, if I select the eraser and I want to erase the text, what you'll notice is that it'll also erase portions of my PDF. So they are working on this. I did reach out to the developer. They are gonna enable it where you can lock a object, in this case, this PDF on the board where it will not be erasable. So for now, the recommendation is for you to use the delete button. So I could select, if I move this out of the way, I can select this text that I added to the board and then delete it. So not ideal, but that's uh, what the developer recommended. But again, they'll be adding the option for you to uh, lock these PDFs or objects that you bring into your board into place. Over here on the left side, just quickly want to mention that you have this eyeball, which will give you sort of a bird's eye view of your entire workspace on this particular slider page. You can zoom in and out. And you can also use the hand to move around on the board. Now, when you're finished, what you can do is hit uh, export. And you'll see right here that I can save this as a PDF. So if you want to be able to upload this so students are able to access it, perhaps who are absent in your class or to reference what you're working on uh, during the day, you can do that. And then over here is where I can save the board. I can duplicate, delete, rename, uh, et cetera. So that's a quick look at a board. It's a web-based whiteboard. So again, the advantages are that I can use this on pretty much any device and uh, accessible from anywhere. And you can bring in PDFs to annotate and also export this as a PDF.